So what is the metaverse? I mean, here, here are a couple of images that might come to mind uh, of the metaverse. You've got the gaming environments, right, where the metaverse kind of cut its teeth out there with the games like Fortnite and others that were more immersive, multiplayer kind of environments where the entire, organ the, the entire system was contained within that. You've got other images where, you know, is this where people are just walking around dressed like polar bears and things like that. There's some oddness to that that's allowable out there. There are corporate environments that are emerging within the metaverse. They're allowing people to collaborate in different ways. The reality is this is all the metaverse. On the corporate side, we talked about digital, we talked about some of the use cases for training and stuff. Others are like digital twins. Can I create a metaverse version of my factory? Can I model out potential changes to equipment, to layout, to inventory? And can I see in real time what the effects would be? When I take all the data from my production and I put it into that digital twin, I can now forecast and predict what the benefit would be and the payback would be to physical changes in the real world. All that's done in a virtual world, a lot cheaper and a lot less costly than actually going out and trying it in one of your seven factories. I can model it in here and get a pretty realistic outcome. The metaverse is creating a similar economy. It's almost as if you're going to a foreign country and you need to understand what's valued in that country versus other countries, what's the inflation like, et cetera. The metaverse is doing the same thing. Now, what's interesting is people are taking things that are valued in the physical world and creating virtual variations of that. Um, when you look at the opportunity to sell a branded sneaker in the metaverse for a dollar value approaching two or three hundred dollars, or it could be more in certain instances. Now, if I'm in the physical world to make that sneaker, I have to pay a designer, I have to manufacture it, I have to ship it, I have to inventory it, I have to sell it, and I have to handle a return if you don't like it. So a whole lot of costs associated with that, and I made $200 on the sale of that sneaker. In the metaverse, I hire the designer, we design the sneaker, I sell the image of the sneaker for $200. Imagine the profit margin. So whatever you call the metaverse, there's no denying it's, it's big, and it's gotten buzz. And if you look at some of the estimates here, 8.3 trillion, 12 trillion, 13 trillion, these are massive economic swings. Now, part of the size difference in these circles is what do they include in their definition of the metaverse? Because there isn't yet one Webster's Dictionary definition that fits everybody. So some of these are including certain cryptocurrency exchanges or certain other environments. Others are taking a more narrow or expansive view of it. But the reality is, most are seeing this for what it is, which is the next generation of kind of internet exchange. And when you start to think about the power that the current wave of the internet has created, you start to extrapolate beyond that and you can see where this might compound and what people are willing to trade from their physical lives into their virtual lives and what portion of the economy, the real economy, that's going to take over.